Hey, happy Tuesday, everybody. It's time to turn that upside down, frown right side up again. I'm Steven Suptic, professional fear monger, sensationalist, anti-journalist, joined by... Eva Gordy, award-winning Russian propagandist and devil monster. Now that we've presented our ethos, logos, and pathos, it's time to use the trust we've built to ruin your Tuesday morning with missile news in a segment we like to call Nukes of Hazard. <laughs> Hey, I'm going you up. Uh, how much thought did you put into that intro segment? Oh, extremely little, but do you know what's not extremely little? Putin's new RS-28 Sarmat missile, aka Satan-2, sequel to Russia's award-winning Satan-1 thermonuclear weapon that supposedly has the ability to destroy Texas. The Russians and Texas have been at odds ever since Putin was banned from an Alamo draft house for allegedly buying one ticket, then sneaking into two, maybe even three movies. The Russian Ministry of Defense signed a state contract for the missile's development in July of 2011 and just declassified the first image of Satan 2. Here's a pic. That's a missile, all right. With the name Satan 2, I assumed it was going to look more threatening. Okay, can we add, can, can we add some... Just devil horns to it? Maybe like race car stripes. Oh, oh, how about bat wings? Oh, that's cool as f Hey, a uh, quick question. How did the Satan missile actually get its name? Well, in the 1970s, the Soviet Union closed the missile gap with the US and created the scariest nuclear weapon the world has ever seen, the SS-18. So NATO decided to codename the missile Satan, but like, Still, why? Also, why did they have to make the missile? What's the point? Well, Russia has been trying to move towards acquiring a global standoff strike capability with just conventional warheads for some time now. So this could be a step in that direction for them. Russia claims that the new Satan-2 missile can travel across the South Pole, hitting targets in the Southern Americas while avoiding Northern missile defense systems the U.S. has in place. Russia, unlike the U.S., does not have the ability to spread their leftover warheads over smaller, faster launch sites, so they chose to load as many of them into one missile as possible. Experts are skeptical, however, of Satan 2's ability to hold nuclear warheads while traveling at low arching flight trajectories usually used for nuclear strikes. Uh, so what you're saying is we don't have necessarily anything to worry about or maybe just a little bit? Yeah, they're skeptical. It all depends if they decide to load that massive thing with nuclear or conventional warheads. So Texas is gonna be okay. Even if Satan 2 delivers a nuclear payload, most of Texas would be unaffected. It just seems like Russia's trying to scare everybody. Putin saw Josh Peck's hit remake, Red Dawn, in theaters at Alamo Drafthouse and got f***ing amped. At the end of the day, you could have one giant missile or a hundred smaller ones. Either way, nobody's gonna be alive to say their explosion was bigger. We need force fields. Come on, Elon Musk. Come on, Ellen Musk. Come on, Ellen DeGeneres. Come on, Alamo Drafthouse. We need you. Let us know in the comments. Who you need? Holy sh**. I'm Ava Gordy. Let us know in the comments what you'd name the biggest nuclear missile ever. What a morbid question. Holy sh**. Hey, our good friends over at AJ Plus's Newsbroke are doing news stories with a comedy twist. Go on over there and give them some source-fed love and tell them Lil Danny sent ya. Ooh, a Reba Dirty. I don't think that's the gesture. Ariba Dirty. <gasps> did I just did I just Ew. Oh no. Good morning. David Blaine. Uh, meteorologists are leaving their secret land. Oh. What if you do please your partner but you just want to see them F other people? F meaning sex <laughs> in this case. <laughs>